Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. It's, uh, it's great to be here and uh, to be sharing with you guys. We're going to have a really awesome session, really connected. And I, I was sitting in the void today with the session. And, and usually I get a very clear instruction from, from my own uh, intuition about what we should do. Today was different. And what I realized is today there's a very important message to share and it goes along the lines of when we're trying to create something. So we are wanting to create, let's say, health or money or abundance. And I think most of us want to create a lot of amazing things in our life. Now, consider this. The things, if you were to already be it, if you're to already be it, notice that your brain isn't focused on it. It's quite an interesting thing. Many people say to me, they go, Chris, yes, I really want to go create health. How would I be if I create health? And I say, well, you'd be out running around in the field being healthy. You would not be sitting somewhere trying to create health. Chris, I really want to create abundance. I really want to be rich. What should I do? Go and enjoy your money. Go and be it. Enjoy what you already have. The idea that many of us subscribe to is that there is something you must do in order to have it. True? We must do or be something different in order to have it. Yet the things that we already have how much time or energy do we put on those things? Isn't it interesting? Like, think of something you have. Now you have it. Are you sitting there thinking about creating it every day? We're not, are we? We're too busy using it. We're too busy using it. We're too busy using it. Think about that for a second. If you have health, you're too busy using your health to have a great life. True? If, you, if, you, if you've got the money and the abundance, you're too busy using it than to sit around thinking about how great it's going to be when you have it. And this is such an interesting uh, paradigm, isn't it? Isn't it an interesting paradigm? So my question for you is when will you allow yourself to not focus on the vehicle that will get you there and focus on being in the true end result? This is why we write it as the true end result. See, the true end result isn't having the money, is it? It's what you will do with the money. The true end result isn't having the health. It's what you'll do with the health. The true end result isn't uh, having the ideal relationships, it's being and doing and expanding in life with someone that you love. Can everyone just acknowledge that many of us focus on the vehicle that we think we need instead of just being it? And then when we are being it, Right. When we are being it, <laughs> we're not focused on it. We're not focused on the vehicle. Who can look at their choices and go, oh, I'm actually focusing on the way or the things that I think I need instead of the actual end result? The actual end result. See, the actual end result is a moment in time that you're enjoying all of the things. It's not the thing.
Does that make sense? It's not the thing. And so this idea of being it, my question to you is when you look at all of your choices today, you look at all of your choices today, look, you look at them, they're written out, they should be written out in front of you. You have the things you're, you're wanting to create. My question to you is how do you live the true end result now? Really, really, without this idea that you need to have this thing to get it, that you need to have something to get it. This is in my consciousness because two days ago, uh, I got to sit down with my business mentor. And uh, what I love about, my, uh, about him is one, he's very successful, over $200 million in business um, that he controls slash owns slash started, <laughs> that he created. And, uh, and that's, that's really cool. So we sat down with him and his, his wife and um, Harriet and I were there and, you know, we had, had lunch together and it's our third meeting this year that we get to have. And, and uh, it's not a paid relationship. Uh, it's, just, it's just we get to talk about, um, you know, business and life and, and these sort of things. I gave him a copy of my book and it was, it was really nice. But, but what was obvious was that... Um, we didn't spend the time talking about things that we needed to get. We were talking about life. We were in our end results. And what I realized, there was really nothing that he was able to experience that was that different than, than everyone else is able to. In fact, he still has uh, challenges with uh, family members that have um, unfortunately got got health problems and, uh, you know, another family member going through, you know, a divorce and things like there was still just, there's a lot of normality there. And I was like, that's, you know, that's such, such a good reminder that, you know, you can be successful, but life is the same. Does this make sense that it's the same and that you actually arrive the, the, the extra things that you might have, it's really not what you're after. You're actually after arriving now. And, and this is where you arrive in the powerful moment, the powerful moment. So it's been a very interesting uh, experience this week of realizing this. So I, I coach one person one-on-one um, -on -one and, and she's amazing. She runs um, dental practices in Perth in Australia, very successful woman. She's a dentist, runs there. And, and anyway, I I, she's the only person I coach. I put an email out, I think about six months ago, and I said, oh, I'm going to coach some people, but your business has to be doing a lot. And, you know, you need to be a leader. And, you know, it's very expensive. And so I, I coach her one on one. And it was so interesting because, yes, she's making, you know, great money. She's she's doing what she loves. She's got a great family, all these things. But she was allowing her power to be taken allowing it to be taken in the idea she's saying well chris you know i need to add this much more to my bank balance i need to do this i need to do this i'm so frustrated with this staff member this and this and this and so so just just hear me on this if there's, if there's anything taking you away from the moment if there's anything that's upsetting your end result of living it now, like anything, like a, a staff member or a child or a, uh, or a you know a global pandemic or, or whatever it is, if anything is is able to take you out of you feeling the way you want to feel, it owns you. It owns you. It's more powerful than you. So what was what was so does this make sense? This was so interesting to me because she, you know, she's very successful, yet the staff member, very small staff member, receptionist, uh, just wasn't doing her job, wasn't this. And this powerful, amazing woman was letting this one receptionist upset her whole life. It was upsetting her marriage. It was upsetting everything. And instead of talking to me about, you know, creation and all of these things, we're talking about what she must do with, with this person because she was so upset, like physically upset by it. And so I said to her, hey, you, you've let that take your power. And so if you think about these two situations I'm talking about, I'm sitting there with my business mentor and, and we're, we're as happy as anything. We had a very cheap meal, you know, sitting there, you know, just talking as friends. And all we're talking about is experiences. We're talking about 
thing and, and all the stuff we're talking about was stuff you could do for free. <laughs> that was it was it was all just free stuff and it was just fun and we would it was all free. It was all just like, oh, you know, we should go out and do this and this is cool and come check out this restaurant. And you know, we're just 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 in it. And then there was this next conversation where the power was just so given away and it was so emotional and so reactive. And so what I want to share with all of you is that if you have to focus on it, if you have to focus on it, if you must focus on it, then you don't, you're not already being it. You're giving it the power. You know, think about all the things you already have in your life you already have manifested it right you've already got it and i want you just to can you pick something that you have in your life now that at one point was a dream or a goal or a wish or a hope you know like you you wanted to be a uh, get a degree or you wanted to become a parent, or you wanted to be in a relationship, or you wanted to move to a certain place, or you wanted a certain job, or you wanted something. Hey, you've got something, hey? Notice how you feel with the things you've manifested. How does it feel? Just, just, just play this game with me. How does it feel? How are you with the things you've already created? How are you? It's just normal, hey? Grateful. It's just normal. Content. You're not thinking about it all the time, hey? You're, too, you're, you're, you're busy doing it, aren't you? You're busy in it. Now, now take that feeling, okay? Take that feeling. You're in it. You're using it. You're enjoying it. That, that's the feeling. It feels right, doesn't it? It just is. It just is. It's no big thing. It's no, it's no big thing. There's no difference between creating uh, something small and something big. You took a thought turned into a thing. This same feeling. So just, just remember this feeling, this feeling you're in. You're in it. You have it already. This is the feeling. Now look at your choice you want to work on today. This is the feeling. This is the feeling you must be in. Think about that. This is the feeling you must be in. Isn't that interesting? This is the feeling you're in. Yeah, it's, it's inevitable. Yeah, I'm using it. I'm in this vibe. I'm in it. True? Who likes this, by the way? It's just normal. It's just going to be normal. It's just happening. There's no, there's no doubt. There's no worry. It's just happening. You're, you're in the powerful place. You're in it. You're here. Now, now as, you're, as you're bringing something new into, into reality uh, that that you know, you, you're in this feeling, you're in the feeling of the end result, which is this, you're in the feeling of the end result, you, you're going to have uh, challenges in, in overcoming it. And this is where, how I was, I was sharing uh, with this client of mine, and I was saying, you know, uh, you want, you want this to be hard, because she's having these challenges, you know. Who's got a goal or a choice right now that you're creating? And it seems like you're getting some feedback that it's not gonna, it's not turning out the way uh, that you want. You know, who's getting some feedback in their life? You know, like that's not how I wanted it to just go like this. See, but we, there's a there's an aspect of us that that wants to do something hard and something new, but then there's another part of us just wants it always to be easy. So you know, I was, I was talking to this this client, and I said to her, I said, "Well, you know, uh, here you are. You're doing this hard thing, building this dental practice, and you know it's hard." She's like, "Yeah, it is hard." I'm like, "Well, let's say that you achieve this, and you've got it. What would you do?" She goes, well, I'd go for the next, the next size of my company. And I was like, right, do you see that? You want this to be hard. If it was already done and easy, you'd go find something hard to do again. <laughs> and she looks at me, she goes, That's a bit, that sounds insane. I'm like, well, it's not. <laughs> it's the way we want it. Because the other option is, I said, you could always just go be a dentist for someone else. 
you don't need to try to build a team and a staff and have an opera. You, you, you could just go and you could just go and uh, and do something else. There's no problem with that. She's like, okay. I'm like, you've chosen to do something that's difficult. Isn't that true? You've chosen to create something that you don't have that you've not done before. So you've chosen. And if it was too easy, let me ask all of you, if it was all done and so easy, wouldn't we all just feel a little bit bored and go for something that's different or bigger? Isn't it true? We wouldn't just tap out in life. You know, there's this weird idea that everyone would like to be rich so that they can then retire to some Caribbean uh, island and sip cocktails in the sun and go, yeah, that's what I'd really want. But, but you know, they don't. They don't really want. <laughs> in fact, uh, it, you know, the, it, it's quite funny because if that was truly their end result is just to sit, you know, sip cocktails in the sun, um, they're basically saying that what they want to be is a functional alcoholic, <laughs> you know, uh, just think about it. Okay. So, so they, they get there, they're all retired. And the first week they sit by the pool, they drink alcohol and, you know, they feel, you know, they do their thing. And then the second week they do the same thing again. You know, they've now had all the cocktails, they've swum in all the pools that, you know, they get. so the third week they do it again, you know, the fourth week, you know, it's starting to catch up to them. <laughs> they're really, they're, they're just, they're just there. And then they say, well, what am I going to like? Okay. This is great. What's next? <laughs> is it true? Is it, isn't it true? You know, uh, we, we, you know, we, we actually desire, we, we don't just desire to tap out. We desire to have meaning. Isn't it? Uh oh, some people are saying, oh, I'll take the sun on the beach. I just don't think you're getting the teaching unless you're joking with me. But I, but I really, I, I don't think it's, uh, I think there's so much more um, purpose. There's so much more purpose than just that, eh? And uh, who agrees? Like there's something a lot more like, you know, we, we want to, we want to have purpose. We want to have meaning. And, and then this is, this is really where it says, you know, well, we actually then want to go do something that's kind of difficult. We actually, we actually like the difficulty. You know, we, we do like, we like it to like there to be a challenge. And if we don't ever have some sort of obstacle or thing that we're working on or, or trying to create, whether it's art or a community or raising great children, you know, we, we're wanting to do something that uh, takes us to overcome a challenge because, because if it's all, if it's all just given and easy, well, there, there's no tension. There's no joy. The joy is in the creator. Isn't it uh isn't it true, everybody? Isn't it true? So, so, so here, so here I am, like acknowledging these these two things. There's this, there's this, you know, these amazing people I'm talking to, and they're very, um, very successful and everything else. And the difference was this: is one person, well, one group, one couple, made millions of dollars, you know, hundreds of millions, really successful, humble. Um, connected and they were there and they were just then they were talking about the things that they're still overcoming and the, in their end results and that creating and uh you know just but just in it and enjoying the challenge of, of you know their their children are uh late teens turning into adults and talking about those challenges and just just in it and really just happily in the creation and then someone else who another very successful person again you know she, married children uh you know successful dental practice so upset at um at creating so upset at any feedback and it was it was so obvious that that's what i needed to talk about today is that you must realize you're the powerful creator of it all and we all came here to choose to go for things that are difficult to go for things that stretch us to grow us and it's not about us seeing some resistance and going and knocking ourselves out of our end result going oh you know i didn't it's not working as fast as i want you know boo i'm terrible and taking it all personally it's about understanding the structure of creating involves a feedback system True, it involves a feedback system and it's what we want. So what if, what if 
as you're creating, as you're going for what you're going for, what if you just know and chose and expect that you're going to have some fun challenges you're going to overcome? And you're not going to know, but it has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the challenge you're taking on and you're assimilating to become it. That, that changes the power. That changes where the power is. The power isn't in anything other than you already acknowledging that you have it, you already are it, and that you're setting out on a challenge. You're setting out to go and do something that you personally haven't been able to assimilate to before. And as you're going for that, there's going to be challenges, but you are that's what you're wanting. You're wanting to go after things that allow you to turn into your fullest expression. So Jata, it's just a powerless position. The, the feedback that, that has been posted here is some challenges aren't fun and are scary and stressful. No, that's not true. That's not true. That's what you've made them. That's what you've made them. They're not that. They're just, they're just resistance. It's just resistance. It's all it is. It's not, it's not any of the stuff we make it. It's just there. But whenever we allow those things to knock us out, we give them the power. We give them the power. And as soon as we give the power away, we're no longer the predominant creative force in our reality. And, and this is what is so obvious. As soon as it becomes something that will give you something, whether it's health, whether it's money, whether it's a relationship, as soon as it gives you something, it's got the power. When you don't need anything, when you already are it, you're the most powerful person in the room. You're the most powerful person in the room. Or equal most powerful, hey? Equal most powerful. Because <laughs> others can be in the exact same place. When you don't need anything else to give you anything, you are equal powerful with source. Because that's when you are source. That's when you, you truly step into the powerful position. So when you think about this, Anything you think is going to give you something has been given the power. And that means you don't have the power. So when you think, if I have health, then I'll get to do this. If I have money, then I get to do this. All you're doing is giving a vehicle the power. All you're doing is giving the vehicle. And a vehicle, by definition, is something that takes you somewhere. This is why we talk about the end results. So if you truly had the, the end result, like you're not thinking about it. You know, when I'm out there in my healthy body playing tennis, running around in the sun, enjoying my healthy body, I'm not thinking about healthy body. I'm too busy in it. You want to lose weight? Set a goal of what you're going to do and be if you had a, a, a body with less weight on it. Instead of going for the weight loss, which is problem solving, why not create the fitness to walk on a big hike? Why not create the fitness to run a half marathon? If you create the fitness to run a half marathon, guess what? You, the, the, the weight's going to mount off. But if, you, if you're someone that has to focus on trying to, you know, magically manifest that, you know, focus on the amazing holiday and the amazing experiences that you, you want to have, you know, instead of the person that you need to have to take you there. Focus on the, on the, the life that you want to have and focus on the end result Focus on that. Focus on what you're creating, not the problem. Knowing that if you create it, that which you need to create that will come along with you. That which you need in order to experience that will catch the ride with you.
focus on impacting a billion people, focus on impacting lives. In order to impact lives, you're going to need a profitable company. You're going to need to be able to spend on marketing and everything. You're going to need that. So focus on that. And, and what, what comes through will, 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 be, will be what needed to get you to what you really want. Focus on your perfect average day. How would you spend your day, your perfect average week? What would you do? And then notice, what do I need in order to be able to have that? So you focus, but you're in the end result. You live that end result. You become that, which then allows, it allows their vehicle to emerge because it gives space. See, source can only move to the, de to the degree you give it. If you say it has to turn up this way, then that's all the space you're getting. There's no magic. But when you go into the end result, then there's the magic can follow through, can come in behind it. And, and, and that's exciting. That's exciting. Heather's got a good question. She said, if resistance shows up and throws you off course, at what point do you think it's not resistance, but maybe just not what you really want? It's a good question. Let me post it across so everyone else can see it. And the reason why it's a good question, because it's going to bring up a, uh, a, uh, a silent instruction. And the silent instruction, oops, I've just sent it to panelists. And the silent instruction is that the thing is what you want. What you really want is, is a feeling that you can have now. So th th there's no real, there's no definitive answer to what you really want. There's no black and white. It's not a mathematical test. What you want can always change. Therefore, there's no way to answer that question. There's, so, so anyone searching for what they really want should look in the mirror because it's you that you're looking for. And so, so if resistance shows up and throws you off course, that's called life. At what point do you think it's not resistance, but maybe not what you really want? Well, at no point would I start out thinking that there's something that is, is what I want that isn't already me. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so, the, so the setup's wrong. The setup is if I have that, I'll have what I really want. But the reverse is true. I'm what I really want. Now is what I really want. And this is amazing. And I'm choosing just to go and get things. Things that feel like a fun thing to go for. See, there's no reason for anything. <laughs> there's no reason. You know, we search for a higher ideal or a worthy thing. There's no reason. It's, it's all just up for our own interpretation, our own meaning. And by the way, someone here might go, you know what, Chris? I would actually really love just to drink cocktails every day. I love alcohol. I love sun. That is what I want to do. That is my whole life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose that and, and that's it. And I just don't think it's for most of us. And, and so, so the thing is, is allowing allowing yourself to be it already. That's the key here. The key is you be it. You go for these end results. You truly, you truly are going to create, but you already have it. <laughs> you already have it. And that's the thing that throws us. Well, then why am I going for that if I already want it or if I already have it, Chris? Ha <laughs> ha. That's when you graduate. That's when you graduate to having a magnetic mind because when you truly don't need it, then you can just take it. You can just have it. You can just accept it. You can just receive it. But when you really, you must have it because without this relationship or losing weight, then you're broken. You're never going to have it. There's obviously a really good book to read. Has everyone got the book, by the way? Did everyone go and get the book? There's a huge uh, announcement about to happen. Should I tell you guys? I should tell you guys. Okay, I'll tell you guys. Big announcement, secret, just for us. Just for us right now that I'm sending an email. <laughs>
My book publisher is so, 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 so thrilled with uh, how many of these we've sold. They have gone and released the physical book early. A thousand copies of the physical book are available and they're $9.99, nine bucks. I got this huge surprise the other day when, uh, who was it that posted in Mighty? Someone posted in Mighty, like I got the physical book. I was like, what? How did you get, who was it? Who was it? Roche, do you remember? Brian posted and I was like, how did that happen? The next day we got told that they were planning a surprise for us, but Brian already found it. <laughs> so anyway, it's nine bucks. Here it is on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. It's Barnes and Noble for nine bucks if you're in the US. That's cool. Anyway, I'm going to send an email out anyway, uh, which is good. Yeah, right on. Dermot saw it as well. <laughs> so so this, this idea that, that uh, something's going to fill us up is, is just not true is that you have it now, you be it now. And, and I really enjoyed sitting, sitting with my business mentor and realizing that even if you have $200 million and, you know, all the staff that he has and, you know, just, just all the, that, you know, beautiful family, everything else, it's still, life's still just life. And it's like, you know, we, we were just in it. And he's powerfully choosing to create new things. And it's just, it's just awesome. It's just, it's just so good. Hey, so good to realize that, that you become it and that now is the biggest gift. And there's, there's nothing that we should, we should think is going to uh, uh, fill us. It's just, we, we get to have it now because, because you're powerful and you're not broken. Yeah, that's right, Rebecca, I think. I don't know, I haven't seen it. But you're not broken. Yeah. Nice, Serena. Yeah, uh, I think there is a, a hardcover coming. I haven't seen it yet. Um, and we actually have um, a bulk book order coming. Where's my MagnaCore people? They've been hanging out. We have bulk, bulk orders coming, coming, coming. Should be tomorrow, actually. Okay, so, 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 let's do a recode. <laughs> let's do a recode. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, does everyone have the link? Yeah, there's a link. Uh, there's like a genius link. Oh, yeah, absolutely, Sujata. Yeah. All right. So let's do a recode. Allow, allow the, the teachings uh, or the coaching today to, to, to just assimilate and be there is that uh, if you have to focus on it giving you something, it's powerful. It's powerful. And... Uh, it, you're allowing it to be more powerful than you. Whereas if you're just focused on how you are and you're, you're being it, that is how you truly are. So anything that, that is in your way um, is, is there. Anything that's, that's in your way is, is there for you to let go of. And that's... Um, yeah, that's a that's a really a really interesting concept. That there's nothing there's nothing outside of you, and when you when you allow yourself to realize that you do become a superconductor, and it feels like magic. You just choose it, and and but you realize that it's it's not personal, and therefore, as you're manifesting it, any resistance doesn't matter to you. Does that, does that make sense? It, do, it doesn't matter to you. Um, yeah, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant. It just doesn't 
matter. The resistance bounces off you. When you when you truly are it and you are the one responsible for it for how you are, as you're creating, it just doesn't, it just doesn't matter. It just, it just, it's not a thing. Oh, I want to create that. And you just create it and there's challenges and resistance and all these things, but you, you don't get upset by them because they're, they're simply not more powerful than you. They're simply, they're simply just, they dissolve into nothingness. And so, you know, once you've done, you're in mag mind and you've done enough work, work in this, you realize as you're creating, you kind of go, oh, okay, yeah, that didn't work or that's not quite right. And you, you just stay in that end result, like a, like a magnet with like a laser beam. And yeah, things, you know, things come in, you know, you might, uh, get get ill or a friend of yours might have some problems or a family member or you know it might not go the way you want you just you don't you don't take it personally and you say in the end result and and you just end up there and it looks magic and feels like magic but the truth is you don't have all of these 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 shortcomings uh where where you 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 go for it and then the the thing comes at you and makes it personal <laughs> and you go, ah, oh, you know, I'm a failure. And then that stops you. you just kind of go, oh, that happened and you keep going. 